Hey there, curious minds. I'm Noah Harrington, and you've just stumbled into Brain Snacks, where we break down mind-bending AI breakthroughs into bite-sized bits you can actually digest. And no, we're not talking about robots making sandwiches, yet. You know that feeling when you hear about some crazy new AI development and your brain goes, wait, what? That's exactly why we're here. Every episode, we're diving deep into the latest AI research that's reshaping our world. From language models that can write poetry, probably better than I can, to AI systems that can spot diseases before doctors do. But here's the thing. We're keeping it real. No dense jargon, no robot speak. Just pure, fascinating science served up fresh. So, whether you're an AI enthusiast or just someone who's wondering what all the fuss is about, you're in the right place. Ready to feed your curiosity? Let's dig in. This week, Google DeepMind just dropped a bombshell that's got the entire AI world buzzing, a paper called Titans. And when I say buzzing, I mean researchers are literally calling this Transformer 2.0. But wait, it gets better. On the same week, Sakana AI releases their own groundbreaking paper called Transformer Squared. Two revolutionary papers, one week, and they might just be rewriting the future of artificial intelligence. You know how sometimes a technology comes along that changes everything? Well, this might be one of those moments. And today, we're going to break down exactly why these papers have the entire AI community holding their breath. While the excitement? Well, Imagine if we could make AI systems that think more like humans do, with both short-term and long-term memory, adapting on the fly to whatever task they're facing. That's exactly what these papers are promising. And the early results? They're absolutely mind-blowing. Let's start with a simple question. How does our brain handle memories? We have different types short-term memory for what's happening right now. Think of it as when you're reading a sentence and keeping track of the words you just read. And long-term memory for storing important information over time. Imagine reading a mystery novel. You need to remember important clues from chapter one when you're in chapter 20. Surprisingly, most AI models today don't work this way at all. Current AI models have two main approaches to handling information. The first one tries to compress everything into a fixed space. It's like having a tiny notebook where you keep squeezing in more and more notes. Eventually, things start getting messy, and you forget the important stuff. The second approach? Well, it looks at everything all at once. Imagine trying to read an entire library simultaneously. Sure, you'd have all the information, but your electricity bill would be astronomical. And that's exactly the challenge these AI models face. They either lose information by compressing too much, or they use enormous amounts of computing power trying to process everything at once. This is where Titans comes in with a brilliant insight. What if we could give AI both types of memory, just like our brains? The Google DeepMind researchers developed what they call a neural long-term memory module that actually learns how to memorize information at test time. Now here's where it gets fascinating. The system has three key components. First, there's the core. Think of it as short-term memory, handling what's happening right now. Like when you're reading a sentence and keeping track of the words you just read. Second, there's the long-term memory. This is the breakthrough part that learns to store and remember important information from the past. Imagine reading a mystery novel. You need to remember important clues from chapter one when you're in chapter 20. And third, there's persistent memory, a set of fixed knowledge about specific tasks. Think of it as the basic rules you know about language, like grammar rules that stay constant whether you're reading a news article or a poem. 
But here's the really clever part. Titans doesn't just blindly store everything. It has what the researchers call a surprise metric. Kind of like how you're more likely to remember something that surprises you. You know, like that time your friend showed up with bright purple hair. Titans pay special attention to unexpected or important information. The researchers developed three different approaches to make this memory system work. They gave them technical names, Mac, Mag, and Mal. Let me explain each one. Mac, or memory as context, is like having a notepad next to you while you work. Mag, memory as gate, is more like having a trusted advisor who helps you decide what's important. And Mal, memory as layer, is like having a filter that helps process everything you're thinking about. Each approach is just a different way of helping AI combine what it's currently working on with what it remembers from before. Now, here's where all of this comes together in a truly revolutionary way. Remember those three components we talked about, core, long-term memory, and persistent memory? Well, unlike traditional AI models that are fixed after training, Titans can actually adjust its long-term memory while it's working. Remember our mystery novel example? It's like having a detective who doesn't just use the clues they already know. They can actually learn better ways to connect the clues as they're solving the case. And remember that surprise metric we talked about? That's how Titans decides what to store in its long-term memory during test time paying special attention to unexpected information, just like we do. So, when Titans encounter something surprising through its core, short-term memory, it can actually update its long-term memory right then and there, while keeping its persistent memory as a stable foundation for the task at hand. And the results? Here's what's fascinating. All this happens at test time. That means the model is adapting, learning, and reorganizing its memory right when it's actually doing the task. In real-world tests, Titans didn't just match traditional models. It outperformed them across the board, from language understanding to common sense reasoning. But the most impressive part? It can process and remember over 2 million tokens at test time. Imagine reading an entire book and not just remembering it, but actually learning and adapting from every single page, all in real time. What makes this particularly exciting is how efficient it is. Unlike other models that need massive computing power to handle long sequences, Titans uses a clever mathematical trick called tensorizing mini-batch gradient descent. Now, let me break this down with a simple example. Imagine you're trying to organize a huge library of books. The traditional way would be to look at each book one by one, which takes forever. But what if instead you could somehow look at multiple books simultaneously and not just look, but understand how they're all connected to each other. That's essentially what tensorizing does. It allows the AI to process multiple pieces of information in parallel while still understanding how they relate to each other. The result? Everything runs faster and more efficiently. It's like giving the AI a superpower to process information in multiple dimensions at once. Now. Remember that second bombshell I mentioned earlier? Sakana AI's Transformer Squared isn't just riding Titan's coattails. In fact, they've taken a completely different approach to the same problem. While Titan's focuses on memory, Transformer Squared is all about adaptation. Imagine an AI that can literally rewire itself, reshape its own brain to better handle whatever task you throw at it. The researchers call it self-adaptive AI, and it works in two fascinating steps. First, it analyzes the task at hand, 
like a chef examining ingredients before cooking. Then, it actually modifies its own internal structure to better handle that specific task. Think of it like having a Swiss Army knife that can reshape its tools based on what you need at the moment. Here's where it gets really interesting. The researchers found a way to break down the AI's brain into different components using singular value decomposition. Then they taught the AI to amplify or dampen different components depending on the task. It's like having a mixing board where you can adjust different frequencies, but instead of sound, you're tuning different types of thinking. And the results? They're remarkable. The system outperformed traditional models across a wide range of tasks, from mathematical reasoning to visual understanding. But what's truly revolutionary is that it can do all this while using fewer computational resources than traditional methods. Think about what this means. We're not just making AI more powerful, we're making it smarter, more efficient, and more adaptable just like a living, learning brain. And there you have it, folks. Two groundbreaking papers that are literally making AI researchers spill their coffee in excitement. Now, if you're feeling brave and want to dive deeper, you can find the Titans paper on Archive. And don't worry if some of the math looks like ancient hieroglyphics. That's totally normal. For Transformer Squared, check out Sakana AI's blog post, They've done a fantastic job breaking down the concepts with some really cool visualizations. Before we wrap up, I want to give a huge shout out to Farzam Hijazi for helping prepare today's content. Farzam, you're the real MVP for making these complex papers digestible. And hey, if you enjoyed this brain-stretching session, make sure to subscribe and join us next week. We'll be serving up another fresh batch of AI insights that'll make your neurons dance. This is Noah Harrington, reminding you that sometimes the best way to understand the future is to take it one brain snack at a time. See you next week.